Now, where did my favourite ones go? Oh, yes. Oh, I love that orange, that yellow one's colour. It's my favourite. These ones, oh, I don't really have as much of their jeans left, so I probably should rehome those, actually. Oh, that's another one of my favourites. So I've kind of got a mixture of colours in this aquarium. Ooh, that one's interesting. And then we have some of the ones which I'm keeping an eye on that are quite emaciated. So there's a few of those. And I've been researching it because I'm not quite sure what it is. Possible causes could be something like TB, could be something like microsporidia. It's actually just hard to say. But I've got something if it's microsporidia that's treated. Um, so what I got to treat it is Vermox. Yeah, I was thinking maybe redoing the gravel in here, because the one in my room looks a lot better. Oh, that's my favourite boy. Mm. And I was thinking about maybe breeding some half black tuxedo guppies actually. So in this, um, in this area, I'm probably going to get rid of any purples and um, lower quality ones like this one here. Like, that's actually quite beautiful, that one there, but it's not, it's kind of going to like ruin my strain. That one's also quite lovely. But I'm mainly aiming for a certain... Oh, I see them fighting down there. Hmm. That was weird. <laughs> yeah, so I can see some emaciated ones, which... got to remove them and experiment. Oh yeah, some babies too. All the animals are going pretty good. Oh, there's actually quite a lot of babies. And I've got some albinos too. Oh yeah, this area needs cutting back. Look at how much. And I'm keeping some of those floating plants which are going to go into the vivarium. But I've discovered with the vivarium that I don't think ferns are going to live in it very well. Because there's just um, too much moisture. So I have to use Bob Beatus instead. Ah yes, this is another one of those skinny ones I've been examining. That one right there. They've been um, worms, so it's definitely not worms. What I'm thinking, it's microsporidia or some sort of gut protozoa, which I need to get medic medication for if the other medication doesn't work. And I feel like there's also more dead snails in here than there should be. Like, there's a few dead snails and there should be enough food. So that makes me... Wow, look at that guppy there. So iridescent. Mm, yeah, that's the strain I'm wanting to continue with in this tank. It's like free breeding yellows. I mean, uh, what that guppy down there? What 
I can't be in the corners doing that. Anyway. Find it. Very weird. Anyway, it's important to keep your stock in good quality and remove any suspicious looking fish. Especially ones that look like that. Where'd it go? Oh yeah, that one right. That one right there. Oh, I've seen these ones sparring also. And they spar in the morning though. Anyways. Ooh, it seems like they're in a mood for fighting these fish. So before I finish, um, so yeah, that's where I'm going to be medicating them. I think with 100, 100 mils of um, Vermox liquid so <clears throat> that's a pretty good trial to see if it's microsporidia and now in this aquarium so it's too moist so this looks like this because it's the soil is too moist and um so I haven't actually put it set it up yet which I'm about to do soon either today or tomorrow um, but long term, I don't feel like they're really going to work very well, like these ferns. These ones might survive, but I feel like it's going to be just too wet. This might go okay. Um, I don't know what's going on here. I think it wanted to go into the soil. I noticed it was in the soil in the other, in the other one. Yeah, but it's, it's far too moist, and um, so we need a lot more orchard stuff for this. So I'm thinking it might actually just be best to use full aquatic plants in here maybe instead of um, these ferns because they're really not going to survive well um, in the conditions with the moisture. So see how we go. Mm. 